All right, here we are. We're live. Rob Thompson with North American Sports Group, the managing partner. Today's guest, I have Guy Waltman from Family First Fitness. How yes, you doing, Guy? Sir. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate you being on as well. And uh, I know we had a chance to connect a little bit a couple of weeks ago and and uh, just thought that your business is is uh, interesting. I think you have a unique place in the market right now with what you're doing. It's definitely a very relevant topic for a lot of HMOs and brands yeah. and sports leagues out there. So why don't you give everybody a little bit of uh, history on your background and how you got to this point? Sure, sure. Yeah, a lot of fun and exciting things to come. But uh, you know, the backstory is is is, is profoundly personal. My um, my motivation to do what I do and and what I believe to be my my calling in life stems from uh, the relationship that I have with my father, who who didn't have very good health throughout my entire childhood. Uh, he don't get me wrong; he was the best father that uh, that you know I could ever ask for, um, and I, I'm sure my sister would uh, you know agrees in that. But his um his obesity and his high blood pressure his type 2 diabetes um you know his heart attacks his metabolic disease all of those uh all of those factors of his health hindered um what he could do as a parent and um and i saw a need in not just uh the market but as a as a nation and as and as a world we need to make health a family commitment if we are going to ultimately overcome the public health crisis that we have uh, that we have present here. It's it's you know you hear obesity and, and you hear diet related disease um, being termed as an epidemic and 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 honestly uh, it's more so pandemic. It's not just our country anymore. Um, it's you know all around the world, all corners of the globe, and and ultimately if we're going to overcome this thing, we have to we have to make health a family commitment, and that's what Family First Fitness is all about. Right. You set out for a mission to change that. Um, so what was that turning point? When, when did you decide to make it into a business? Well, wow, it's a good question, actually. It's a very good question. I mean, I went to Syracuse University with the intent of becoming a medical doctor, so that is a really great question that you ask. Um, the turning point for me was where you know I heard that phrase that if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And and. I do have a passion for, uh, you know, for the body and how the body works, the anatomy, the physiology of it, the biochemistry. Those are all things that I studied while uh, at Syracuse. So don't get me wrong. I really did enjoy those science-intensive uh, science courses, but, um, but I didn't love it. I mean, my passion has always just been fitness and health. I mean, my favorite class growing up was, was phys ed. I mean, of course, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but, so. You know, if you if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And right. and I didn't even really know that being an entrepreneur was something that uh, that you could go to school for. I had no idea. You know, when you're going to college and what do you want to major in? I'm like, OK, well, you got like mathematics, you got science, you have like writing and, you know, TV, uh, television, radio, film. I didn't really even know that entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurism and, and just business is something you could do. Um, right. And when I found that out, I, I jumped all over it, um, you yeah. know, just with, with dived all in, you know. Right. So, and and the name of your, the name of your company is Family First Fitness, and um, it's reachable familyfirstfitness.com. dot com. Um, yeah. what, what is the core of your business? I mean, how are you drive in revenue? How do you market? How do you market it? Who are your core customers? So our primary uh, initiative right now as a company is is creating. Uh, it was more so launching an exercise program that we created that was geared towards the, the personal needs of entire families. So um, currently, as it stands, exercise programs in the industry are very niche in nature. So they're either for children or they're for adults or they're for um, you know, obese individuals. They're, they're for a very specific target audience. Um, and, and that's that's great because it makes for a very effective program for that one population, but it makes it very difficult to, to work together. And since our goal is to make health a family commitment, I set out with the goal of creating a program that the entire family could do together. So now what we basically have is we have that program done, tested, and ready to go to market. And, and we are selling, um, I would call it a beta version of it, if you will, or a prototype of it, uh, where families do contact me, very interested in doing that program in the comfort of their own living room, 
or they'll come to my facility in Schenectady um, and take group classes of it. I have, I have large group classes that come to my personal facility, but that's not really the main goal. The main goal is to get this program out um, you know, nationwide, all corners of the globe, so that families can do the program together um, as a family unit, uh, sort of a virtual trainer type relationship um, right. where I'm always available via webcam, via phone, or email where, where the families can ask me questions and, and I can help them along. Um, but you know, my main, my main target audience or, or my customers right now are just families who want to improve the health and wellness of their family, of their family unit. Right. So I think for you personally, when you look at, you know, how do you get, you know, when you set your goals or, you know, how many people are, are living in the United States? I mean, there's what, 7 billion people in the yeah. world. This is yeah. a you know, pandemic. Um, how do you reach them? How do, if your goal is to get everybody healthy from a family standpoint, how do you scale your business? Well, having a virtual trainer relationship makes scaling the business far easier than, you know, because I can't be in more than one place at once. I mean, that's right. <laughs> so, so as, as, as much as, as ambitious as I am, unfortunately, I am stuck to, uh, to connect to New York or wherever I am at that point. Um, right. So utilizing the virtual trainer relationship makes that easier. Um, ultimately, it's, it's going to be a challenge to scale, I think, internationally, um, mm -hmm. crossing language barriers and things like that. Um, but as far as our uh, our nation is concerned, um, online streaming for these videos, like uh, similar to like a Netflix style, you know, you go on, you stream the movie, you know, it's your own living room or whatever. That makes scaling a lot easier than if you're packaging up like physical, tangible DVDs or things like that. Um, but ultimately, uh, you know, the workout program, it, it's more than an exercise program. It's also, a, uh, there's also an education component. There's a nutritional component. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not just physical education, it's dietary education as well. But, um, but streaming makes, uh, you know, the scalability of it far easier than if you're actually dealing with a physical, tangible um, disc or something from the Stone Age. You know what I mean? Right. So. <laughs> yeah. So, so, if, so you can watch it from a tablet. And essentially, if you're, yes. all, if you travel on a vacation, you can watch from there. So as far as uh, what's the business model? So is it, is it membership based is it, or subscription based online? In the future, potentially. So basically right now, I don't have the partnerships in place to have a streaming type system. Um, right. One of the industry leaders is Daily Burn. I don't know if you're familiar with Daily Burn, but um, they are, uh, you know, they're really leading, you know, they're, they're taking the market by storm and they really are, um, you know, with a, with a subscription, a membership base where you go on, you pay certain dollars a month, and then you have access to unlimited videos that you want to do. Um, well, we don't care that's about that's them. We don't. We 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 don't care about those guys. You're going to be yeah. the one. You're going to be the one to get into that spot. So sure will. So that's that, well. That's that's where I want to be, and that's where I'm. That's where I'm working to get to. Um. So ultimately, unfortunately, the business, um, the current business model is not that way. The current business model is more so dealing with, um, you know, the 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 physical copies of the of the videos, or or utilizing a a private YouTube channel that I have. Um. Yeah. So if, so if families do want to. You get the videos, um, you know, not on disc. I have a private YouTube channel where you can reach out um, to me on my website. And then uh, there's a workout portal section to the website that's password protected. So you can reach out and I'll give you that login information that you would need for your personal account. Um, right. But the ultimate goal for, for me, I would say two or three years down the road is to get that membership base uh, where you would pay a certain amount of, uh, you know, per month and then have access to all the videos you know, anywhere you want, on a tablet, on a phone, laptop, whatever you want. You know what I mean? Perfect. Um, yeah. Talk, hey, talk talk a little bit about your uh, experience with the NFL Play 60 program and, yeah. you know, what did you provide for them in that service? Sure. Um, I was doing a lot of work in the city of Syracuse while I was a Syracuse student. I was working with, uh, with several elementary schools um, in the downtown area, um, and I was also hosting a um, a, I don't want to say a clinical trial, but a, a documented, um, a documented personal study of the program where I had participants who, uh, not just students, but also people from, uh, you know, from the city coming and doing the program. And one day during one of my classes, uh, one of my group, one of my group sessions, I had a new, a new group come in and, and you know, we all introduced ourselves or whatever. And, and, uh, it turned out that it was, I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with, uh, he was a Syracuse 
legend. He, uh, he, and he played at Michigan University, ultimately went to the Indianapolis Colts. Mike, Mike Hart, he was a running back. Um, Mike Hart's family came in because they were Syracuse uh, natives, and they came to one of my sessions. They absolutely loved it. They, they, uh, had, they reached out to Mike Hart, who's involved with Play 60 and things like that, and they said, you got to check this kid out. And, and so I ultimately got the phone call. I was very, I was very uh, honored to, to even get that phone call. But um, they gave me a shot. They said, why don't you come? To our next big event uh and, and you can you can have your program you know be kind of featured and, and we'll see how the kids take to it or not you know um so they really threw me into the wolves and it was a great experience uh you know, that's the best way to learn just being thrown into the wolves so they had me be the motivational speaker for the whole event and and all the kids and we had over 300 kids who were who were doing the program and it was ultimately a huge success um so that kind of, you know, that, that jump started the relationship. And, and now, um, what, a, what an incredible organization Play 60 is. I mean, it, it really has come a long way. I know that it, it means uh, something very personal to you, uh, yeah. Mr. Play 60 on the other end of this web call here. But yeah, uh, but yeah I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate, very blessed to be a part of, of, of the whole Play 60 movement and, and, and helping kids get active and healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're the perfect guy for it. I know that um, when you look at what the NFL is doing, what the NBA is doing, with the NBA Fit Program, yep. what League Baseball was doing with, um, I think it's called Play Ball, um, MLS. I just met with the Women's Professional Soccer League Commissioner in yes. Chicago this past weekend. And everybody wants to get into that space. Everybody's yep. fighting for market share with kids and participants from a business perspective. Uh -huh. Now. Um, if they're there, it's almost an obligation to the leagues because they are in the sports industry, right, to create these wellness programs and get kids to be more active. But ultimately, is to get kids to play football or baseball or yep. basketball. Uh, we do the same thing with USA Swimming with our swim jitsu program. It's getting swim jitsu, yeah, yeah, you know, kids in pools. So um, everybody's fighting for it. The great thing about what you do, guy, is is that you have content, proprietary content that you have tested that you know that makes sense for uh, for kids and families to do it together, yes. um, regardless of whether they're great athletes or kind of weekend warriors, mm -hmm. um, they're able to do it together. So these leagues, brands, folks that want to get involved um, with your information, you're just starting out, right? And you're, and you're cranking out, but you've put years into developing this type of program. Yes. This IP. It's been over three years, yeah. So that's a long time. And so, um, you know, so I think the purpose is really of, of, of creating this business for, you know, what you have done in this business. How do you connect the dots now with the leagues, brands, media company, families to create scale? Um, and I think there's someone out here who is probably watching this right now that's thinking a mile a minute saying, how do I talk to this guy? Yeah. <laughs> So why don't you tell everybody your email, how to connect with you? I know it's familyfirstfitness.com. Um, and how do they reach out to you? Yep. So familyfirstfitness.com, uh, you know, there's a contact us section to that, which will, uh, if, you, if you submit through that website, it's going to be forwarded directly to my personal email. Um, so they can use the website if you want. But, uh, you know, my, my personal email is guy at familyfirstfitness.com. Nice and simple. You know, my name is not that hard to remember. You know what I mean? It's three letters. It's, it's, it's easy. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so guy at familyfirstfitness.com. And, and, uh, you know, ultimately we, we have a, a Facebook and a Twitter, uh, if you just type in family first fitness and, and it'll, it'll pop up. So, um, but, uh, absolutely. I mean, I, on the point that you just made, I always like to say whether you're age five or 50 or whether you're, you know, six or, or 600 pounds, you know, the program is, uh, the, the program is, is responsive in the sense that it has the ability to tailor to your specific needs. Um, so, you know, whether you want to drop. 250 pounds or whether you just want, um, you know, to lower your cholesterol and, and, uh, and manage your stress levels. The program has a means to provide whatever goal you're looking for. Um, and, and I think that's, that's unique to, to the industry right now, um, uh, because families are so, are, are becoming so diverse. Um, but I am here to help, um, every step of the way with anybody who takes this program, uh, they could reach out to me on the website or on my email or anything like that. And I am here 24 uh, seven for my clients and, and I'm here to answer any questions or concerns that they have. Well, awesome, man. I think it's a great program. Hopefully, um, you know, much, uh, much more success with it. It's only beginning for you. You know, you're a rock star, dude. You look like a movie star. You, <laughs> you know, someone's, someone's going to jump on this.
So um, do you have a, I know you had a, a Kickstarter program starting, coming up yes. soon. Yes, yes. Uh, so launching on August 8th is going to be a Kickstarter program. Um, and that Kickstarter is trying to fundraise the money needed to take my business model to that uh, more efficient subscription membership based, um, you know, uh, package. Uh, ultimately, that's going to take uh, some capital to, to get the right partnerships and, and the right software and, and all of that in place. Um, so on August 8th, that'll be launching. It's going to be a, a 30 day, roughly a 30 day program and uh, you know, our fundraising campaign. And, and I'm just trying to get as much outreach and attention to it as possible. Uh, families, if they, um, if, if families can, can give me a chance, you know, if, if, if families really evaluate the current status of their own home and their family unit, uh, they might find they they might realize that you know they have a need for what this program can provide. So at that at that point, it just becomes about getting the word out there, you know, about the Kickstarter campaign and, and as much outreach as possible. Right. Um, any help with that? I mean, that that would be insane. I, mean, I wouldn't say I look like a movie star, but I am trying to be a little bit more like you and less like me, Ralph. You know uh, what I'm there you go. <laughs> I'm an old man. I'm an old man. Hey, so <laughs> have um. So you're open to anybody that's coming in that that's watching this or listening to this that say, hey, you know, I have a, a digital company that, that can help you with the registration piece or the membership piece or oh. I'm an investor. Are you open to having those discussions? Oh, my God. <laughs> I would love those conversations. Right. Oh, my. oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what I've been really pushing for. That 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 would be amazing. Yes. Awesome. Well, there well, there you have it. So this is. um. This is, um, you know, good, great information. I hope this helps you out. I hope this is getting in front of somebody out there who's watching this right now that's going to pick up the phone or email and reach out to you. Um, much success in, in, uh, in your future. I know we're going to be talking more and more and anything I could do to continue to help you. Um, Guy Waltman, man, you're a rock star, buddy. I think you're going to change a lot of people's lives, kids and families, and, and that's, uh, that's kind of what we believe in at North American Sports Group. And, and align ourselves with people like you. So thank you, thanks Rob. for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rob. Take care. All right, brother.